You ready? I'm ready to put more bling on my finger. <laughs> That's what you mean. <laughs> I know, I know you want a source. We already talked about this. <laughs> but we're gonna do my source first. <laughs> What's the ring size? Uh, that looks good. Yours is a six. It's like the same thickness as my ring ring. And so then when I'm at work, instead of ripping my gloves open, yep. it'll be all flat. I'm gonna get mine. Where's mine? <laughs> Lemire, L E M I R E. That. Big. Oh, well, yeah, this size is big. But... So you liked it flat too? Yeah. That doesn't, uh, it's not gonna conduct electricity, is it? <laughs> no. Is that one of the ones that can't get scratched? I think so. Well, don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was easy. How long was that? That was literally, our appointment was at 1.30 and it is 1.48 right now. Oh, that was quick. 20 minutes, we got our wedding dance. <laughs> Done. Done. We jumped in this shoe store here, right next door to where we got our bands, and uh, we checked the clearance, and it was crap. I mean, no, it wasn't crap. It just wasn't profitable. Not profitable. It wasn't like bad things. It was just bad prices if you're trying to resell them. Right. Uh, but never fret, my friend. So yeah, we're gonna... There's another spot. We're gonna jump over to the TJ Maxx over there. See if we can find anything in there. So we're right here. That's right. We're gonna do some thrifting, because we're kind of like out of our way. Oh, I thought I was going clothes shopping. Clothes shopping. <laughs> this is not the adventure I thought we were going on. <laughs> no, we're gonna do some thrifting. We probably still will. But while we're right here, we're just gonna jump in these retail stores, There's see if we can find anything. There's also a store too, that maybe we can look in the clearance. Yeah. Or I don't... we can dumpster dive. I don't. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. So we didn't really find anything in there. Well, we did kind of. We did find one thing for me. I found this little back roller thing. Oh yeah. Fun fact, Ryan actually, um, I don't even know if you said it in any of the videos, but he's been having I've mentioned a lot it. Of back issues on one side so he literally went to a chiropractor for the first time last Monday and he'll come back this Monday going tomorrow back tomorrow yeah um, so that we can try to fix his back yep so I think this might help a little bit hopefully oh we got that what was that like eight bucks yeah but it's worth it if it makes you feel better yay because I love your face oh <laughs> All right, so we just left Burlington. We got a couple pairs of shoes, nothing too crazy. Seems like it's a little dry of a day. Yeah, you saw we went into TJ Maxx in Burlington. Didn't get much, but it's okay. All right, so we just got home. I wanna kind of show everybody uh, the, the work that we've been doing to our eBay room. <laughs> um, we've actually, we've been expanding um, our storage area, which is pretty sweet. Turn the, these lights on. I'm gonna be doing some listing here. Um, <clears throat> so we actually brought in another shelf. We already have this shelf here and it is full of inventory. So we need more area. This room's probably getting pretty close to being complete as far as, you know, everything business related goes. Um, but this is the shelf we got. Um, starting to fill it up a little bit. And then we also got this shelving unit where we put bins for all like the smalls and little items and stuff. We numbered them. And then down bottom, on this bottom shelf here, we're putting all our like big clunker items. Like I have all the DVD VHS combos down there and all that stuff. We have some ink there, toner ink. 
and all that kind of stuff. And then we also have this bin. I'm not sure what we're gonna do with this bin yet. There's quite a bit of stuff in that as well, so. Really enjoying how this room is kind of turning out. Um, there's still some like little logistical things that I wanna to do to the room to improve it, make it a little better. But for the most part, I would say that it, it it's pretty, it's getting to the point where it's like pretty complete, so. That is good, we're excited about that, for sure. What you doing? Doing your workout? I have to do 15 of these a day and then it says I'll be buff. 15 a day and then you're buff? Yeah. Okay. After like five days. I saw it on the infomercial. <laughs> All right, so I am out of work. I'm gonna do something a little bit different today. The footage you just saw was from Sunday. Uh, we decided to take the rest of the day off and take it easy, but it is now a weekday and I'm going to be going into the Salvation Army right here. This is a place that I don't usually go. Um, I feel like I should go here more often, but I don't usually go here. Um, but I'm going to pop in here and I'm going to challenge myself. I'm going to be going here and I'm going to go over to Goodwill. I'm going to challenge myself, see if I can find anything in 15 minutes in both of these stores. So, let's look at the time. It is 4.16, so I have till 4.31, yeah. All right, 15 minutes, three items. Got, well, first of all, it's been a while since I've been in that store. It's probably been I don't know, three, four months since I've been in there and they have greatly, greatly decreased like their hard goods. I don't know if you guys saw the footage, but there was like no hard goods whatsoever. Like the whole area, all the shelving where the hard goods were behind it, used to be all the sales floor like like all the floor of merchandise but they just completely blocked that whole area off and that store is like i would say 90 percent clothing now which i thought was interesting i wonder why they did that so all i could find in there was some clothes um also i'm gonna see if my phone works out here because inside my phone wouldn't work at all. It's really interesting. And yep, look at that. Now my phone's working. Now that I'm out of the store. Conspiracy? Hmm. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, so these are the three things I got. The first thing I got, once again, I blind picked everything because I, I couldn't look up comps. So this hat caught my eye. I just thought it was kind of cool looking. California Republic. I'll have to look it up. It was two bucks. So I grabbed it. It looks like it's in pretty much new condition new without tags doesn't look like it's really ever been worn um, but i'll have to look that up it's who knows but i thought it, it was eye-catching so i grabbed it so there's that 
And then the second thing I got where I've had like good luck with lucky jeans, men's lucky jeans at least. And um, like pretty much every time I list men's lucky jeans, they sell fairly quickly. So I, ha I have a couple pairs here. The first pair here is um, a 42 size, size waist, which is really big, which is good. Um, they seem to be in really good condition and yeah they they were how much were they they're oh 3.99 so i got them for 3.99 they've got like interesting pockets too like they're not just like normal pockets they got you know like the flat pockets here once again great condition um don't seem like they were really, really even worn that much so that's why i picked those up because of the size and the brand and then finally these I found within 30 seconds of being in the store. These I think are a good pickup. I didn't once again look up comps because of no cell service. But these are 3232 like green corduroy pants and they are new with tags, which is pretty cool. They have a retail price of $90 and then it says our price $50. I don't know what that means, but um and then they were marked down to 997 somewhere. Who knows where these pants were before they came here. But um, they are brand new with tags. And they were five bucks. So I grabbed them. I took a chance on it. I was like, I've never really seen lucky jeans or lucky pants new with tags. So I took the opportunity and purchased them. Figured I'd give them a shot. Look up comps, see what they're going for. But, uh. You know five bucks so i grabbed them for a new with tags lucky for five dollars that's why i just figured it's probably worth the risk to grab them all right so now we're going to be heading over to goodwill and i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to do the 15 minute rule go in when i'm walking through the door i'll look at my phone i'll show you my phone and i will give myself 15 minutes in the store to find something if i don't find anything too bad i got 15 minutes to see what i can find so Let's head over there now. It's just about a five minute drive down the street. All right, you see that? 445. 445. Rocking in the Goodwill. Let's see if we can find anything by five o'clock. So just leaving the Goodwill, I didn't give you a timestamp. I was only in there for 15 minutes. Actually, let's see what time it is right now. So it's 5.09. Um, got a little bit behind, but you know what? That is because I actually ran into a good friend of Pam and I in the store there, um, Wendy. You guys have seen Wendy here on this channel before, probably a month or two ago. Um, she's an Amazon expert. She knows all about Amazon. She's very local to us and she's a subscriber. So she was talking to me about that she's been seeing our videos and she's been enjoying the content. So Wendy, if you're watching this right now, hi. And I'm glad I ran into you. Say hi to you. So um, that was fun. So actually what I picked up here is a Magnavox um, VHS tape rewinder. It was two dollars. I'll have to test it out, make sure it works. Um, obviously, it was two dollars, and I should be able to get fifteen to twenty for that. And then I picked this game up. Not a huge profit maker, but um, 
the sell through rate is insane on this game. There was like, I believe, like 200 listed and almost 400 sold. So this game should sell pretty quickly. I'm thinking probably 15 to 20 dollars on this, um, and it was five dollars. So that'll be a quick flip there. So yeah, that was cool. And that will conclude today's sourcing. I hope you enjoyed this video. I was trying to do something a little bit different that we've never done once again. We're trying to keep it very, very new and fresh and uh, I don't know, just different from just a normal video that we could easily put out. I'm trying to put a lot of thought into this stuff and just keep it entertaining for everybody. Um, so hope you enjoyed. Pam and I really appreciate everybody's support everybody that's giving us positive feedback and supporting our channel and helping us out along our journey and as we grow here on YouTube and also our reselling business. So it's been a lot of fun so far and I just want to thank everybody. Um, once again, can't thank everybody enough. Like seriously, it's just, it's a lot of fun and engaging with you guys and hearing everybody's compliments and, and comments and everything really drives us to keep going and to keep working hard at this and doing the best we can. So thank you guys so much once again. And if you're not subscribed, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe. Um, we put out at least five videos a week, whether it be a live show or you know just a daily vlog sort of thing. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up if you want. But other than that, I guess have a great night everybody and we will see you in the next one. Thank you.